Okay, so here we have a fill in the blank question and the question states the transition zone occurs between lead blank, which it can be any of these following four, and the following uh, ECG. Okay, so we have to know which one it's occurring in. All right, now when we talk about transition zone, we are focusing on the precordial lead. So these ones here, so we don't even look here to these limb leads. Okay, and I want you to focus on this because a lot of people uh, tend to miss this, and I don't think it's taught much in those introductory courses. Okay, and again, this is similar to the R wave progression, we are looking at the precordial leads. Okay. So precordial leads in both R wave progression and transitional zone are dependent on the leads placed. So it's really dependent on the technician that's placing the leads. All right. So remember that and don't put too much weight on that. But oftentimes you can you'll see them and it could be helpful if they're placed properly. OK, so normal transition. OK, so we'll talk about normal occurs between V3 and V4. Okay, and what do we mean by transition? Well, it's when in the precordial leads we go from both being mostly negative to mostly positive. Okay, so if you look at V1, you can see that these QRS complexes are mostly negative. Okay, and then if you look at V2, comparing this to the positive portion, there's mostly negative. All right, when you can go to V3, we're comparing this to this here. OK, and it's almost isoelectric, but I believe it may be a little more negative. So let's see here, 3, 5, 8, 11. OK, um, and maybe not. Maybe this is actually uh, more positive. OK, so maybe this is actually a little more greater. OK, so slightly maybe isoelectric. And then when we get to V4, you can certainly see that we're slightly greatly more positive here. OK, and V5 more positive v6 certainly more positive here okay so let's just confirm that so again we have a five here then we have about four here which gives us about nine and there's 11 small boxes here and then we have five here we have an additional let's see three eight and eleven so this is probably isoelectric okay um we can say it's slightly more positive or isoelectric okay so when we talk about transition zone we're saying going from mostly negative to mostly positive okay and you can see that we're about negative to positive and maybe v3 is actually it so we can say that if this is equally positive and negative the transition occurs at v3 but let's say it's slightly more positive okay that means we're going from negative to positive from v2 to v3 okay and that's where our transition occurs so the answer should be this here okay so again normal transition is from v3 to v4 all right so if it's at v3 to v4 which this is likely probably normal okay if it occurs before v3 we call that a uh, early transition Okay, so early transition because it's occurring before V3. If it happens after V4, we call that a late transition. Okay, late transition you may also hear as a clockwise rotation where this was a counterclockwise rotation. Okay, so again, let's just clear some of this up. So it seems like the isoelectric point here in is at V3. Okay, so probably the best answer if it was available would be. Um, in would be certainly lead v3 but certainly we have between two leads okay so i would probably give you credit if you put this one here or this one but let's say this is the choice and we'll call this one negative and then this becomes mostly positive so the transition here is between v2 and v3 okay so hopefully that makes sense there okay so that will be our answer and if they asked you which is the most isoelectric lead that would certainly be this one okay and that's the most isoelectric lead is pretty much where the transition is occurring okay so exactly but oftentimes when we look at the ecg we won't have an exact isoelectric lead meaning that the top here is same as the bottom okay now if this was which one is the most isoelectric again put v3 so in this case we said that v2 will be mostly negative and v3 will be slightly positive so the transition occurs between v2 and v3 but closer to v3 okay so in this question the transition zone occurred between leads v2 and v3 in this ecg well that's the end of this lecture i hope you learned something 
Please don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below if you like what we're doing. In fact, many of you have asked how you could help us out. Really, the best way you could do is simply subscribe and share this resource with your friends. And you get free access to more than 300 videos. There is also a community of over 270,000 of us like-minded individuals on Facebook. So stop over and join the EKG Guys uh, Facebook community. Many of you have also asked some questions. Leave them below or share them on Facebook and we can try to answer them with a short video so everyone else can learn. We also have a number of new courses with corresponding videos coming out soon, so stay tuned for those. Last but certainly not least, your feedback is incredibly helpful and your kind words are always an encouragement on those long days. So let us know how we're doing. Thank you again for your support. It is truly appreciated. We're the largest, fastest growing EKG resource in the world.